Welcome back everyone. It is game time and today I have bought a lot of boxes. <laughs> there were a lot of Father's Day sales and so I picked up a lot of just a nice variety of stuff at a at really good prices and um, yeah so that's what I'm going to open between now and the time Stadium Club drops and my much beloved Elite hits the market in seven days counting down seven days and I have pre-ordered both of those multiple boxes of both of those so I'm gonna have a lot of fun opening that stuff I really wished I, ha I could have gotten a case of Elite but I just I just know I bought too much this month so I've got to rein it in and be a little more conservative um, so all of this stuff right here is unopened i'm going to be opening all of this i won't post it all on the same day i've been bombarding everyone with just multiple videos and so i'm going to slow my roll just a little bit and um yeah so first i think i've been looking at this for a really long time and i don't know if you watch my videos you know i'm not a fan of these boxes with just a couple of cards but i will get them from time to time especially if the price is right and the price is pretty low on this i watched a couple of videos first i mean i still don't want to throw money away even if it is you know on the cheap side and so i watched a couple of videos of people breaking this and there there's potential here um there i mean the odds of breaking even or or losing out even at a cheap price are high but there are some nice cards that can come out of this so there are only seven cards in the box um, three auto or mem cards and yeah that's it it's 2013 if you don't know that rookie class is not definitely not the best this was a 200 card base set including 100 commons 50 legends and 50 phenoms well, there weren't that many phenoms, really, <laughs> in 2013. But, I mean, it could get, uh, who could you get? I started saying Antonio Brown, not Antonio Brown. Um, oh, good Lord. I'm so tired of having these brain farts. Uh, Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell. And who else? There's somebody else good. Was Zach Ertz? No, I think he's 15. Oh, my pack is all wonky in here. There's one other from 13 that's not so bad, but by and large, most of the 2013 rookie classes. Pretty bad. But, we'll see. Alright. Set these down here and pull them up one at a time. The first one's kind of dirty and beat up, but it's a Marshall Falk parallel to 349. Let's get it the light right on it so you can see it is bronze. And that is card number one. Card number two is a crazy patch of this is who I was trying to think of, DeAndre Hopkins. This was his rookie year that is an incredible patch obviously if this was ink it would be insane but this patch is pretty nice so to me the box is pretty much already made that's a very very nice card let's see if it's numbered oh it is down there to 99. card number three is a fred davis limited threads to 99. not bad Ooh, and an auto of Jeremy Macklin. That's not bad. That's a sweet card. Number to 10. Four of 10. That is a gorgeous card. We also have a Mike Gillisley to 199. Nice patch. Uh, he, he didn't pan out too well, but what are you gonna do? Still a really nice card. And then we have 
jack ham to 349 i guess it's not bronze maybe the base set was numbered because these the rest of these look to be bronze ray rice to 349 and pierre thomas so uh, they promised three hits and gave four and i am going to call this box a success do a little recap that looks good this four out of ten macklin auto i don't think he has a whole lot of hobby love not enough but this is still a great card and to me this is the best card in the box i'm sure you probably agree and then the fred davis i always liked fred davis this is not bad and then four numbered cards so yeah not bad um i've seen lots worse boxes so i'm not sure i want to recommend that you run to ebay and buy one but if you feel like taking a chance the price is definitely right on these right now um this came i think from steel city but not their website i got it off of ebay they're selling these really cheap on ebay so that's it that was fun that turned out a lot better than i thought it was going to maybe my hot hand will come back everybody please like and subscribe please subscribe if you want to be entered in the contest obviously the contest is one reason to subscribe but i hope you'll stay because you like to watch cards being opened and to talk about this hobby that we all love hope everybody's having a great day and please watch for the videos of all these boxes hanging out back here to be opened very soon